Hello, welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, and let's just continue where we left off. Oh, Min Montaro is out cold from being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodam and I are on the break, are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. And he's still a wreck. Ah, nobody cares. He's still a broken wreck. The announcement didn't mention it, but it's supposed to be nighttime. Time to train, but Kaido's okay? And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's just doing fine. Just fine. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened it to find... Maki, okay. Huh? Huh? Maki? Kaido's resting. He says he's not feeling well. And that's... We should train without huh? him. Just the two of Jeez. us? It's pretty toughless for him to bug me to train with you guys. And then fake out, flake out. But... Uh, no. well... Uh, well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making excuses for you're him? Right. Uh, no, I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really going to do this training, just the two of us. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Hey. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but... Overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. Maki sprang up and said, Hey! Hundred, I'm done. Maki seems nonchalant that she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. A hundred push-ups is now. Huh? What? <sighs> About Kaido, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he's... if he is useless. I... I was taught to only value essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as if they saw fit. Well... Every... and after everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am and... I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. After what I've been through, I'm... Am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because... But I have no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help but... me. But... Uh, but I'm kind of the same way. Well... I never once wanted to become a detective. I actually thought it would wasn't too great of a job, uncovering people's secrets of, for money. It's the worst. Okay. But now, I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. It's... and it's Kaede and Kaido, they have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Maki's face reminded totally... remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki! Ah, see you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept walking. Alright All right, then. I was still a little worried about Kaido. 
He seems off since this morning. I hope that is nothing serious. Yaha! Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Oh, what now? Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's res regulations don't matter. Uh... But, Kur but Kurumi's crime happening happened during nighttime, but... right? If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the Student Council is trying to limit all nighttime no. activities. Limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away, is that my, it? My, my! You're so odd, Maki. What more important freedom or a person's life? Uh... Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Adora! Because that's what Adula says. Divine. And what Adula says... <laughs> Adula says... Yes. People are afraid of you. People are afraid of Maki. So we prefer it if you were more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the academy. They're going nuts. Oh, no, oh yeah, I didn't notice. Mono Dance Theater. Oh god, now he's doing the Terminator. What is the point of human life? They are born as useless babies who can't do anything. And 70 years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unavailable, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. It sounds starting to sound a little depressing. So these student council nut jobs are going a little overboard. And he still hasn't snapped out of his funk. So that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. Well. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around! Quit messing around. Don't just do whatever you huh? want. Hmm? But I have a duelist blessing. Right. Yeah, we have a duelist blessing and I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. I know you're calm to be student council or some such, but this is going too far. No. Yes. As we say, said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What? What's going on? New rules, regulations. Um, Kaido, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Mm. Going to put heavy rocks on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I can made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to like going to handle it this time. Um why? Why would you do because... that? Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Listen up! You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start don't fresh. Screw around. Damn it, she just does whatever she wants without even asking our certainly. opinion. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're 
right. That's why we decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she makes the right decision. She can hear Adula uh. at all. Man, she's she's a lost cause. Plain Jane like her are till rub rubbies rubs when it comes to cults. Thank you. Tosumi, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Oh god. She's a cult leader! Just burn already! You know, this is just gonna turn into a civil war if, and people will suffer and Thank die. You for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? What? I don't get what you're Atua talking about. Atua has whatever features you desire. She in, she's faking it at, at this point. God. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Okay, that's it. I'm calling it. And she's a con artist. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. And if she's starting passing OJ or Kool-Aid or something like that, run or the punch. Don't drink it. Precious. Oh, cool. I do this just so cool. Mm. Cults are like these be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but... But, but, why do you guys are so mad, uh, mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... It's cause you guys want to use it to escape. You still haven't given up on leaving you. here. You haven't given up. Uh -huh. You haven't given uh -huh. up. What? What the hell's wrong with you guys? See. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? Tighten? Are you calling me loose? That reminds me. You were in the computer room past night time yesterday, were you, what? Mio? Uh, so what if I okay. was? So was Maki? She didn't go back to her room until way past hey. night time. Suichi, you too, right? Uh. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your lives is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. Dula is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at night time. Huh? Oh, you gotta be kidding Stop me. Stop it! What? What? Why do I have to... What I do and where I do it is none of your freaking no. business. No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, that's not acceptable. Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That is blasphemously unfair, uh... yes? I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. Mm. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? We here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a doula. What else do you need? It's no good be greedy, you know. <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always messing around. Don't be stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough! Like hell I will like hell I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. Now, what do they want in this? Are you all fighting? Um, I don't think so. I think they may be there not actually fighting. Right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like they're... It looks like a friendly one. What are you doing here? We're busy right now. We want you to get even closer with each other. Wonderful. So we brought this. Oh. A flashback light? I see. It's part of our use of the back flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by taking, talking about it with each other's plans. Well, I am stuffed all the way to the bow. Too many blows to the head to remember a, a plan's name that long. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see that. You're gonna wreck it, aren't you? Ah! Uh. 
Suddenly Angie grabbed the flash knife and yeah, she destroys it. She threw it onto the ground and stumped on it with the The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. You prick. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Someone's gonna snap and... This is the breaking point, someone's gonna try and kill her. Oh no, if you don't use the flashback line, our plan is a bust. Hey. What are you gonna do, Mono Dam? Oh, he bucks. Ah. Hey, he ran away. Oh. Hey, Mono Dam, wait. So long, farewell. <laughs> Bye. Wait, Angie, what are you doing? Oh, we couldn't have remembered and something. About the funeral of the ultimate That's not hunt. right! There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside right. world. Yeah, it's pointless now. Always messing around. Why, you... You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. But you should have taken that with a doula. Your god oh, is evil. I don't think you... Sorry at all, so do you have a plan for the you-know-what? Ah. Oh, you mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? What? I knew it. What are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives huh? will be. Necessary precaution? Uh. What if we get another time limit motive, like the one that got Rentaro killed? Shouldn't we have sacrificed perhaps prepared just in case? Uh, um, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected. What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again. <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh... Life cannot always be fun and smiles, so Dula must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... If we submit to Adula's will, if we were to live a peaceful yes. school life, Adula's will is absolute. Yeah. If Adula says so, then there's nothing that we can do about it. Yeah, that's a turning a call. <sighs> it's just like Adula says. Wh what? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing is a motive for the killing game? Kaido's going. What's going on with you? You look worse and worse. Yup, yup! The motive is no concern to us, as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. Well, you know... By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What, what kind of stupid question uh... is that? After discussing the matter with the doula, the transfer stern we revive is... Cause Atua says so! Rentaro and... Huh? Rentaro? Because... Well, simply, if we cannot resurrect convicted... Murderers such as Kayede and Kurumi, nor criminals like Ryoma, who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video, which leaves Rintaro as the only one who be used to the student council. True, Rintaro is the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. I'm gonna bring him back. Hey, I have a question. This might sound weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell to anyone? No, no, this isn't impossible. This is not going to happen. There's probably going to be a catch when someone reads the damn book. That person dies. Kaede killed him. Or comes back as a zombie. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's really so late. I need to get Prayer going now. Time. I must pray to Adula and begin preparations right. for the ritual. You're right. It's time to pray to well. handsome Adula. Well then, let's yeah. go. Bye. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out Adula's will, but it's her will, isn't it? Hello. Yeah, she's going crazy. Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening. Hey. Then it's all our world against the student council. Six versus six, we can win this. 
Also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice no. quick. I uh, know. We have to resolve this peacefully. Sure. That'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaido? You, have you been quiet this whole time? I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? Huh? You say something? Oh. Uh oh. Someone's was zoning out. Kaido, something doesn't seem right. Um, Kaido, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Oh, it's not. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, I'll feel much better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? <gasps> anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's not pop. <sighs> Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. Huh? huh? My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. I'm going to go back to my room. Kaido left on uneasy feet to go back to his room. What is it? What was all that about? Did he oh. get any sick? We were just talking about that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to go worried about that guy. Hmm. You seem to be enjoying this. The rest of us of the dining left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. You know, this is just going to end badly. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. The goal is the same as Coyote's. Get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. And doing nothing, pretty much. And I'm back, and we're back to nighttime. Back to the main story, everybody. And dealing with more pagans. Pagans, the dark cults, and stupid people. And he's still broken! Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen That's to train. True. I should go and see what Kaido has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Hmm. Wonder Kaido's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Tight. The door to Kaido's rooms opened and came out came Maki. Ah. Ah, Maki. Is she mad? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well... He told me he was going to skip today's training, I too. I knew it. So he still doesn't feel My well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, okay. you know? Yeah, sure, Kaido. Do what you have to do. Nah. We have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out after nighttime was profit of it. Huh? Right? I well, told you. if you're feeling sick, that's one thing. But I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. Really? But yeah. I don't want to skip it. So it'll be just the two of us huh? training today. What? What do really? you mean? You don't want to? You wanna die? Huh? Die? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's an old habit. I pretend to... I pretend you didn't hear that. Just, I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront okay. it. So if I have to train alone, so be it. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlikely. Like you, Kaido. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you didn't want it ever you wanted. My bad. Suichi, I'm sorry, but I can't leave. But 
Can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling okay. better? Of course, Kaido. I nodded firmly and then chased after Muggy and headed to the courtyard. Hey! Muggy, about Kaido, you shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. My buddy stiffened on impulse, Mikey's eyes, and the entire aura surrounded her, has completely changed. Her glaring was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and uh, fire. Um, Mikey. But her glare wasn't aimed at me, it was right past me. Uh, uh, such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would pass out from, out from just that glare. Huh? Tenko. I. You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well. I'm not here to fight you. I don't think you're here to enforce their the curfew. Huh? What? That's right. That's right, Mikey. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal uh, favor. Um, a favor from us? Hey. I don't I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't she doesn't sound brainwashed. Um, yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? Oh, you were only playing you were only acting. Hey! Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in the doula. No. I could never believe that in Angie's huh? God. What? Listen up. I only believe in Akito. As long as I have that, I can be swayed by anything. Akito values mental fortitude, and Akito moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Akito, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Mm. So you just pretended to be Wayne brainwashed. Why would you do hey. that? It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretend to be brainwashed so to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy she's given up on thinking of for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is That's dangerous. Right. The student council, council idolize Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infrained it I infiltrated the student council. Angie is truly believes in a doula. She believes that she is under a doula's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she is a doula's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she mm. does. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Well asking someone like me to do a favor can only mean one thing. I won't deny that. I wanted her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their Listen life. Up. But I'm going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason well. is. Do you realize who you're asking <gasps> to? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I... I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to some another killing. But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please. That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop her. Huh? Only us? Yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Oma, Mew, or Kyo. And Kaido's not feeling well, you know. That's true. I see. You don't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Please. So please help me. You have to convince Angie to not perform the ritual. I'm begging you. She's not gonna listen. Tango bowed down well. deep as you could. Well, then let's go. Huh? What? We didn't even answer it. Answer yet? Degenerate Quit males. complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I am bowing to you, and I would would never do that for any male. 
That's not the best thing to say to someone you need for a favor from. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not at use to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you ignore. This is something I ignore. Who do you think I am? No. No. I'll do it. I'll I was just thinking as at all. I agree with Tango that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey! Degenerate male! Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be divisive. Sneak attack! I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's go convince Angie together. She's not gonna listen. She should be preparing the ritual right now in the ultimate artist huh? lab. Together, I'm going to. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't ask just Suichi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Oh well, let's go to her labor lab. So we have to stop a mad pagan. She's gonna lock the door. All right. All right, it's right here. Just when I reach my hand towards the door. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked. Ah. Oh. Ah, that's right. Angie did say that she locked the room when she was working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway, just to test it. Yeah, she locked it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this hey. door now. Wait, Maki, you can't just do it like that. Stop being a little miss impatient. Hey. Then how should I do it? Um. Angie, will you open the door when a student council member calls for her? Tango turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please! Angie, it's me, Tango. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh, uh, oh Tango. Yes. Yeah, it's me. After Tango answered, the door flew open. Yahoo! Can I help you? Huh? huh? Why are Suichi and Maki uh, here? Um. Uh, um. Oh. Oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, right? Then you need to get acquired with a Acquainted with Adula, I will introduce so you to him. Please come in. No. Uh, no, it's not well. that. Let's go in for now. We well. can talk inside. Well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But. Dark pagan rituals. Insanity. We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. Oh god, what is it? Oh god, wax figures. You used the wax, didn't you? Huh? Kaede, Rintaro, Kurumi, and Ryoma? Yoo-hoo! They made them. Do you like... Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made uh, them? Yep. yep. They're my very own handcrafted wax... Wax... Effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, of course! Why? For the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh... Um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the come ritual. Come on, come on! So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably wouldn't be better, but once I got to work, Adula took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You... You do such cool things so huh? innocently. Hmm? What? But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, but just like the real thing, but... They're wax. They're... 
No, this is wrong. You shouldn't bring dead people back from the grave. Hey. You don't know what's going to happen. Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember what that was... That is what Monokuma motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't uh... be good. But the dead can't really come back to life, so people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real body still has traces of the soul. Traces of a soul. A soul, despite desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life, that's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Ryoma, Kurumi, Rentara, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. We have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. If that was what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Then if we do the ritual, we will actually resurrect the dead. But they'll be kind of fucky. They'll be kind of little angry that you woke them up, woke them up from their dead, and they tried to kill the first thing that like we didn't want. Why did you rip us from the heavens and put us back in this godforsaken earth? I would rather die or commit suicide all at once. What a remarkable mystery, huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... But... But that's not what Adula says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up till this... Till now will come back. If those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely be. <laughs> that must be right, because Adula is never um, wrong. You're not going to stop this, aren't you? Of course, of course! Of course not, this is Adula's will. Hey. This is your will, no. not Adula's. Uh uh. It's Adula's. Adula told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this curse. So if we have to do it, we can't defy a direct command from Adula. We'll or else we'll get punished, you know. Uh... You're probably still worried about the motives, Luigi, but it's Adula okay. Adula has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all those. Is that Thoughts so? of escape. If that's so, then there's no point talking uh... anymore. Hmm. Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey. Tango, let's just go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Okay. Dark Pagan Rituals. After falling to the failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. It's already night time, so please be careful as you head back right, to your room. Right. Oh, and... Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tenka has betrayed the student council, huh? right? Huh? But, but... It's okay, okay. I forgive you, because it really forgives you. He's such a softy, you know? Atua! I hope you will recommend yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. You're still batshit crazy, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. hey, what's going on? Why are Suichi and Monkey here? Uh, they're not on the student council, and it's Himiko. Right Himiko. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change yeah. my mind. Yeah, she betrayed us. That sounds like a big problem. If you saying it's nothing, then. Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Jeez. Adula, and you are loved by Adula in return, Himiko. Stop it! You're making me blush. Cut it out already! Enough already! Tenko walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by yeah. the shoulders. Yeah? Himiko! Please snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? Uh. That hurts. Let me go. Uh. Himiko, why can't you see that you are being brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage uh, at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? 
Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Kimiko! Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Uh, um... Kimiko, just... Let's just leave it huh? for now. Huh? I'm sorry! I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must... Be tired, Tanko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bye, Sounds good. Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friends. They might turn on you and kill you right there and then. Himiko didn't look Tanko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Um, Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know I never hate. She never hates me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just a friend. Mm -hmm. You guys were best friends. Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we were basically best friends. I feel like you're just rounding up a little too much there. Well... Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be an old marriage couple once we overcome this rough patch. Whoa, that was a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. You should... You should let Suichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good no. at it. Really? That was the first time I've heard of that. Piece of cake! Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to uh, Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving heavily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> She's bounced back rather fast. I guess I don't need oh. to worry. Ah, uh, you you were what? worried, huh? This is weird for me to worry. Do you want to die? Huh? Ah! There's that habit again. Well, I suppose... On the positive side, she's able to act more like her herself well, around me. What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I th need to think of another mm. way. Less orthodox method. Got it. I think about it. Monkey hurried back hmm. to her room. So Monkey's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that, but I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone a either. That could be a good thing, or could be a bad thing. Yeah, more damp theater. Haha, <laughs> E.T. In, pa in a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond on a real town. But I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor, I beca and because of how I would flop around on my desk, and became of the way up when my mouth opened and closed as if as I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. And he's still doing nothing. He still hasn't moved. Oh god, what now? Huh? The intercom this early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Oh what now? Oh my god, thank god. Well What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. 
you. You wake up to that. If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll just you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose that's true. Right. It's fine. Let's just go and stop the ritual. Huh? Kaido. Uh, okay. I heard from Maki. Maki roll. It seems like Angie's going to do the ritual. What? Maki roll. Don't give me such a weird nickname. Ah. Oh. You brought Kaido here, Why? Maki. Why? Is this, is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. What better than Kaido for a less than straightforward approach? But... Uh, Kaido, are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need. We don't have time to be worrying about me. We got to put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead okay. crap, and then we can finally drop that topic, or else I'm gonna s last. Not going to last. Kaido, are you? Um. Scared? Huh? Huh? No. Ah, uh, it's just as I... It's just that I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because... Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since we started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid, there's no way. Uh, um... Uh, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to train because... You were scared. So... It's not I'm scared, that I just how... That's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped area space, zero gravity, but ghost stories? <sighs> Since I was a kid, whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Kaido was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Damn it. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry up and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this crap. If things get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> Unbelievable. You act. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Then let's go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me that. Um. Anyway. Let's go to Angie's lab. Oh, just one here to die already! Oh, you want me to walk up, oh, God. Fine, I'll walk. Eh? You guys why? again? Himiko, why are you here? Why were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. 
So you, what do you guys want? Don't tell me you can't just stop okay. her again. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared of, sure, of it or whatever. anything. It's because that you're here. But it's good that you're... She wouldn't open this door for anyone but members of the Stream Council, then... right? So tell Angie to open it for us. I mean, that's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask her about the ritual, how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must be in her work, so she huh? hasn't come out. Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm -hmm. She should be inside. Both this door and the back one are huh? locked. But both doors are locked. I grabbed the doorknob and tried to turn it. Yeah. It really is locked. But these doors are only locked from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in hey. there. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Himiko! Himiko, we need to get this... Get inside right mm -hmm. now. Eh? Why? Nah. But you know, even if we want to check, it's locked, so we can't do... I oh. See. I heard everything. And just as shocked as you are, but... But what a... The tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't came here for you anything know. at all. Where did you come from? Um, a little birdie told me that now you would be a good time to bust out my trick. Ah, uh, the lockpicks you brought. Uh, Almost tricked. Ah, uh, the lockpicks. Uh, huh? Lockpicking? Hey! During the insect meet and greet, Oma was able to get into our rooms by lockpicking. Can you use the lockpicking, your lockpicking skills to get this lab door open? Mm -hmm. You want me to open this door, huh? Mm, let me see. Oma bent over and peeked into the keyhole from the ah. door. Oh, it's a cylinder, cylindrical lock. Now, this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um. Yes, please, Oma. Open you. the lock. It's rude to pick the lock without permission. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Oma, hurry up and open the door. My bad. Sorry, Himeko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Oma pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Plank. See? There. Open says me. Huh? That's simple. <laughs> Not to brag, but I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you well... know. Lockpicking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me! Ah, that cuts real deep, All right. Maki. Let's get inside and worry about Angie. Got it. Yeah, you're right. So, what's going on in there? Please, please, oh lord, kill this bitch! I don't care. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fur? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob and pushed open the door and saw... Yes, yes, say she's dead. Yes! She's dead! What the hell? Oh. Say she's dead. Say she... Yes! She's dead! The bitch is dead! Don't care. She kind of deserved the way she's been treating everybody. This is an A body announcement. has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the Ultimate Art Lab. <laughs> Blech! Ah. ah, she's puked again, and it's green this time. Not afraid it's Green puke said it'd be an omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? No one cares that. I kinda dis. Thank God that she's dead. Woohoo! She's dead! And no one didn't come back from the dead. Woohoo! Well then. 
And I'm going to hold it off till next time. So until then, have a good day, everybody. And I'll see you next time for the next episode. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. And have a great day. And I'll see you next time. So until then, this has been Joe saying, have a good day, everybody.